This is one of my we weapons right here for the wild Denver streets of Las Vegas. <laughs> Hanging in Utah with the drop-in crew. I'm a professional roller skater from Aptos, California, and I wear Oakley blades and I skate roller skates up and down the beach front. That's the real deal right there. Okay, well the mullet line's, you know, it's a piece of mountain bike history, that line. It's, uh, it's probably one of the most badass, flowy train lines ever. Me and Ryan are like, Okay, it's on, let's go hit this line, let's train it. My name is Ryan Gibb, and uh, what I do is I film and I make movies. Uh, there's also this awesome nugget of a wall ride. Just little vines coming down, like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's all or nothing, you got a dropper. Freaking Utah has been amazing, you know. We're wrapped up, we're grabbing Josh Pender, and we're going to Vegas. Fuller City, past Vegas, somewhere, I guess. Nevada. Nevada, is it Nevada? Yeah. Okay, Nevada. That's where we are. Lots of bikers here. Because it's uh, before the trade show, it's a dirt demo day where, where they can test out all the new products, all that kind of jazz. Male dominated and uh, 2% hottie on mountain bikes, you know, the other side. But 2% so are lingering around 2% are really hot, and they're in spandex, or nice tight girly shorts. So I mean, you know, it might be 2%, but at least they're hanging out here. Looking good. Looking good! Ah! I'm watching Drop In TV. Yeah, you yeah. are! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Second day, I was lucky enough to go out uh, dirt jumping down on the dirt jumps there.
cruised into Bootleg Canyon for the dirt demo and I was riding up the hill to get to the jumps and I saw the bus. I was super stoked. I got a big old adrenaline rush. Sprinted over, skidded my bike to a stop, ran in the bus and went, what's up dude? I took off uh, for a couple weeks. I left the dudes in Prince George and I went to Germany. Went to a contest. It was called Ride to the Lake in Mearsburg, Germany. It was a sweet contest in the middle of an old historic European town. I ended up getting second to that contest, so I was stoked. Yeah, I missed the tour, it's good to be back. What are you doing? Want some grapes? Sure. Wow, all the bike industries there. So it was the drop-in dirt bag tour. Being here was just like the, the perfect thing to do, because everyone's just wrapping up the season. It's just the best way to, to end, end the unbelievably epic tour. You know, you, it's just a big reunion, you know, all the pro riders are hanging out on our bus. Everyone's, you know, just coming by, shaking hands, and it's just, it's just the ultimate conclusion to, to an amazing season. In the back of your mind, you're, you're just kind of bummed out because you know the tour's coming to the end. I was just driving along and sh -poosh. Dude. Okay, I get to uh, shoot Kyle and he runs. It's pretty sweet. With what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, well I'm gonna get him when he's coming back. But. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a full on full on reunion of drop and just Ah. Star wife. <laughs> Bandito. This year, this is my brother. His name's Tyler. Tyler McCall. Hi. Brothers. Yeah, we're brothers. Let's hug, Ty. No. <laughs> <laughs> he never lets me hug him. Nice try. Come on, Cam. Complex individual. Yeah. Feel complex. Loser. My mom can no play Cam better now. Oh, that was sick. You can probably, you have super hearing because you're a complex individual. <laughs> oh. oh. I just broke my heel, dude. Whatever. I did. Good thing I got insurance, eh? Who would have thought it thinking I could have sex with Jada Pick it in my white castle Not to my crystal sink it But I blink in my sleep And then it all comes to the land of my mind I'm quick to want to react But my inner vision's blind I have an erased memory Of who I wanted to be when I grew up Even like four weeks ago For my first ever champagne when I threw up I'm sure that it's my year I'm telling y'all it's my year <laughs> What year is it? Mother help me if different Why's it got to be so ridiculous, man? This is my pops, Pat McCall, my dad. He's riding his motorcycle. You never see him without his motorcycle. The whole setup on drop-in is way different than just cruising out your garage every morning and riding. You know, you gotta be doing something that's gonna look good on camera or there's no point in doing it because we're making a TV show here. So that was a challenge, you know, you gotta think about when I do this, is it gonna look good on camera and are people gonna like it? So we had a good session and it was really fun. A lot of tricks, a lot of jumps, all the way until sundown. I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing, but I think unicorns are kick-ass. Oh, queer!
Oh! oh. Somebody was reeking. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Did somebody just start mining for sulfur in here? Why? I want no part of this. I can't work like this. Sorry. I can't work like this. Star wipe, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Like to be pedaled like that, man. She likes to point downhill and these flats for you. Fix me and uh, take me downhill. Good old bus. You know the fact the fact that that bus went from from as far northern Canada as, as almost Alaska, and all of a sudden, you know, rolling on into Vegas. Super climatic, you know, everyone's just just revving her up, you know, the party's on. We're in Las Vegas! <laughs> dude, keep going straight, dude. Keep going straight. That's all we got nowhere else to go. <laughs> At this time of year, this is like really the hub of the industry and being here was just like the, the perfect thing to do. I wouldn't say that Interbike is hype as much as just a, a must-see event. And if you want to be in on the on the bike or bicycling industry, you got to be at Interbike. So it's a good thing that drop in's here. You're watching Drop In in Las Vegas. You're watching Drop In TV from Las Vegas, Nevada. And here we are on the wild streets. This is one of my weapons right here for the wild streets of Las Vegas. So you're following the uh, dirtbag team around. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Leach. I'm here in Vegas. Got some spare time to cruise around the city and try and find some riding. I was trying to pull the whole way back. Oh, I broke spokes. It was a short-lived drop-in session, just when I was starting to have fun, too. Damn. We're going to aim to do a special piece when we're home in, in Vancouver, BC, to add in there somewhere. Now we're in Vancouver. We're going to go see what we can find. I never thought that I would say this. Stop. 
for their ditches, big ass city. Um, this one, it's blocked off, no trespassing. Huge fences, like eight feet all around. I think we found a good spot to uh, jump over. fun sesh, you know, I stunned her for two and a half months, got to send my bike, got to hang out with some of my best buds in the world, you know. Eight guys, we all live on the bus together. It's been a good crew and a good season. Super awesome experience this summer, riding with, you know, some of the coolest guys that have become some of my closest friends. They're a bunch of dirtbags just like me, and you know what, I loved every minute with them. You know, if you look back on your life and as a kid, you know, you went on road, a mini road trip somewhere. That's what I love about being on drop-in is it's two and a half months of that. Eight of us on a bus cruising around, there's pure entertainment the whole time. It's gonna be hard to get out of Planet Drop-In because once you go in, there's no turning back. You know, you don't want to go back to the real world. Cruising down the strip on our sick electric cruisers. Next thing you know, we got the fuzz on our back. So, Sneff just got handcuffed and taken away. Uh, I just watched my buddy get uh, pulled away with the cops, cuffed up and everything. He's gone skis. Oh, sushi king! Yeah, oh, sushi. Let's go get some sushi. Our friend just got arrested, and all these guys can think about is sushi. What's up? When you got tourists pointing at you guys and people driving by honking, you know. That causes a problem. I'm here to solve that problem. I just demand a little bit of respect. Aside from the fact that we just had one of our members arrested, I think we had a pretty darn successful season. Dropping is just a big old pile of random, you know? And uh, what do you know, we're in Vegas. Ryan's getting arrested. You know, what an awesome way to just wrap her up here. Let's just take it all in. And we're done. Yeah, dude. We're going to celebrate. Thank you all, all the sponsors, everyone who supported us. Thanks, everyone. It's a magical, amazing season. Yeah, Love boys. everyone. Well, that's a good way to end the season. You can't have a season to drop in without one of the dirt bags getting copped.
Hey, uh, job, I, I'm, I'm seriously considering doing a video on uh, do, like on strip bus. No, no, uh, doing the Las Vegas video and all the things that happen on the bus oh, yeah. in Las Vegas on Saturday night. It's awesome, man. You, do you have a card? So I seriously, uh, I'm uh, maybe. Uh, we could uh, work out a joint venture sometime in the future. This is definitely a good foundation uh, for a chopper. So when I asked you to get on the sidewalk, and I asked him to come over here, and he gets on the radio, I'm uh, I, we just got busted by the fuzz, and he's just cruising away from me, basically telling me he doesn't give That's when I get a little brace. Yeah, okay. And that's when, if he doesn't want to get off the bike, then I'm going to take him off the bike. He did get off the bike. We had a nice conversation over there. Party naked? Have fun? <laughs>